Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to collaborate with remote video editors. Now, as a full-time YouTube creator, it is absolutely crucial that I have some type of system in place where I can talk to my video editors. This includes a place where I can upload all my files, have them be able to download those files easily, do their edits, upload a draft, and for me to actually watch that draft and put comments on it. With those comments, they'll implement those changes and then upload another draft. And from there on, we do this until we have a finalized version of the video. So yeah, the platform that I'm gonna be taking you guys through today is called frame.io it is one of my favorite platforms i use for my business if you guys want to work with remote video editors this platform i believe is absolutely crucial so right now i'm going to show you guys what the platform looks like and then take you guys step by step through my whole process all right so this is frame.io if you guys click on the link in the description it's going to take you to this exact page and from here you can actually start your free trial so this is my frame.io account on the left you guys can see these are going to be all the current projects that i'm working on and if you want to create a new project you'll click on this plus button right here you can enter in the name for that project and then you'll click create project right here but essentially i'm in one of my current projects this is called 27 businesses to start during a recession and you guys can see this is where i upload the raw footage right so this 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 and this these are all clips that i recorded for this video and i was able to upload them right here now in terms of having your video editors actually you know be able to download these files there's two different ways you guys can do it one is you actually add them as a team member to your account this does cost a little bit of money i think it's 19 dollars per month per team member but they get their own login and of course there are some big pros to having their own separate login the other way is to actually just give them your own login information so just give them your email and your password of course there are some cons to this especially being that they can access all your video files and stuff like that but yeah that is one way to save a little bit of money so after you give your video editors access to your account what you're going to do is you're going to tell them hey i just uploaded this video and what they're going to do is they're going to download those video clips from there on you should probably have some type of sop standard operating procedures for how you edit your videos that way you guys can have your video editors do a good and consistent job they'll work on those edits by themselves and then what they're going to do is they're going to upload that first draft to the same exact folder so you guys can see right here this is the first draft that we got for this video i usually have them upload in 720p there's no need for them to upload in 1080 or 4k since that does take up more space it does take more time for them to export render all that stuff but yeah 720p seems to be a good sweet spot so from here on this is basically how the software works you're able to play the video back for example i can click play right here and what I like to do is I actually like to change the playback speed to 1.5 or 1.75. This actually makes it so that, you know, I can get through this video and make comments a lot faster. A lot of the time you don't need to do normal speed unless you're doing maybe the intro. If you have an action packed intro, then of course, yes, you probably do want to view in normal speed. I'm um, just so you can catch every single thing in full clarity. But for talking head videos, uh, 1.5 to 1.75 seems to be a good sweet spot. So we'll go to 1.5 and basically Basically what you'll do is you'll play this video and if you see some type of error let's say I want to change this out right what I can do is I can actually just come down here and leave a comment so I'll say change the red icon to something else maybe something that's purple right okay so then we have that you guys can also add a reaction or emoji there's also the option to actually draw on this page so you guys can click on this right here and you can select a color for your brush you guys can also you know choose if you want to do a shape or a line stuff like that or an arrow but we'll go with this let's say i want to this we can do an arrow and we can come back here and say change but yeah this is a great way to actually be able to draw on this thing and be able to implement some changes so just know that you guys can do all that and after this is done i'll click send right here and it's going to add it to these comments now when your editor is watching this draft they can actually come to all these different time stamped comments and be able to implement those changes so they'll see at 14 seconds in i need to change the red icon to something else preferably something that's purple right and they'll see this as well yeah so basically what you'll do is you'll go through the entire video anytime you see a change that needs to be made pause the video leave your comment there maybe draw something if you want you guys can change who can actually see this and then click send after that your video editor is going to watch that they're going to implement those changes they'll probably upload a second draft you'll go through the video again make sure those changes have been implemented and you'll basically just keep doing this until the video is finally done so you guys can see for this video we had first draft second draft third draft and then finally we had our final version frame is also really good for just uploading different files related to this video so you guys can see i'll upload a picture of me say doing this and then my assistant will actually take that picture send it over to our thumbnail 
thumbnail creator and they're going to create those thumbnails and then my assistant will re-upload those back into here. But yeah, overall Frame.io is definitely one of my favorite platforms to use when collaborating. Of course, there are other ways to actually collaborate with your video editors, right? You don't have to use Frame. You guys can use Google Drive. You guys can use something like Loom. Pretty much any type of file sharing service is going to work. But if you want these time stamped comments, then Frame, in my opinion, is the best way to go. Another alternative to doing this is just use any type of file sharing platform, such as let's say Google Drive, share those files, upload those raw clips, send those over to your editor, have them send the draft back to you in 720p. And then you can use something like Loom and have that record your screen while you are watching the video. And from there, you can make real time live comments as the video is playing. You can pause the video, make your comment and then replay it. So yeah, that's basically how I collaborate with my remote video editors. I found that this process works extremely well. You guys can pair this with a VA or an assistant to actually help make those comments for you on the videos. That way you don't need to make all these revision comments yourself. But yeah, super simple, very affordable. And yeah, Frame.io has just been a game changer for my business. Anyways, I'll leave all the links down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. We make a ton of free guides and tutorials helping you to start up your own business. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.